What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Boost to the Top VGC 2021. Last episode, we continued our climb, our monthly climb out of Great Ball Tier and we're just about in Master Ball Tier. We're in Ultra Ball Tier right now and I feel like just by saying that I jinxed myself that we're going to be here for another episode. But regardless, we're going forward with that more Pico team or as some of you have corrected me, more Peko. I just say more Pico, I'm sorry, it's just... I, I say both, really. Like, I say Galisopod and Galisopod. I say more Peko and more Pico. Like, I just go back and forth. Literal potato potato for me. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be going forward with this team. Code is in the description down below if you want to use it. It's a really fun team. We went undefeated last episode. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel right now if you have not. And do me a favor, go down into the comment section right now and leave your answer for the comment question of the day. What is your favorite legendary that they released in Sword and Shield? Is it Spectrier, Glacier, is it the Dogs, is it Calyrex? Do you have bad taste? Let me know. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm, I'm going to try to get back on top of streaming because I've been meaning to for a while and I feel like I've been saying that for like a month. But my schedule just hasn't worked out in a way where I can consistently do it. I think I found a time in the day where I can do it like Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm going to attempt to stream at 5 p.m. tomorrow, but I'm also working a full shift, so that's only if I get off in time. All right. So, what are we facing here? Uh, looks like Bulldoze Entei plus the um, Metagross. And Entei is immune to flinching, so I can't just lead off more Pico versus it. However, they really, really don't like the more Pico Spectre lead regardless because I'm able to stop Trick Room and I'm able to burn whatever is on lead. So I think I'll go with that. Uh, in the back, in the back, in the back, I think Torkoal is actually a really solid Pokemon for this matchup. It's able to hit the team really, really hard. And I'm debating on whether I go Venusaur, Stack Attack, or Landris right now. Um, what do I gain from these guys? So Landris would be great for intimidating pretty much just the Urshifu and the... Rillaboom. Venusaur overall is probably my best option just because it's able to hit everything pretty hard. We'll go with that. I'll go with that lead. Yeah, and the Intimidate with Landris wouldn't even matter too much versus, like, Urshifu just because its main move, Wicked Blow, just doesn't care about Intimidate drops. I'm going to have to burn that thing if I want to get anything out of it. As they lead off Entei Porygon 2, I'm cool with that, to be honest. <laughs> I'll go ahead and I'll taunt the uh, Porygon 2 right now, and I'm tempted just to go for a Max Quake and get off to a really early start with this match. Just a really early lead would be really great. Let me see. So I'm going to go for Taunt here, and I'm thinking that Spectre should be able to one-shot with Max Quake. Let me think. Max Phantasm does 50% more. 50% of 130 is 75 so like 205 base power there where this does 220 max quake is my strongest move and it is life or boosted i'm just gonna hope for the best here i hope i can knock out the entei i'm feeling good they may even switch out i don't know as i dynamax here if i can stop that trick room i'll feel real good about the rest of this match because i'll get uh, i think i'll get a free plus one i'm not certain <laughs> I really don't know how much this does to Entei and if they're running, like, a bulkier spread, so... You know, I can only hope. And I guess play better, but hoping is a lot a lot easier for me than playing better. As they Dynamax, okay. Well, at the very least, I stopped the Trick Room, and I'm gonna get some decent damage out of this. Uh, I think Dynamaxed Spectre... Oh, they... Okay, that's, that's the Porygon, too. Uh, interesting. <laughs> I really didn't see that coming. Um, they could go for a max strike, which would be devastating. And my taunt's gonna mean nothing here. I hope they don't max strike. That speed drop's gonna be bad. As it looks like they're able to live that pretty safely. Kinda wishing I doubled into Entei now, but I don't think it would've mattered. Lose some HP. They go for Snarl. Ooh, that's big. I mean, I can just boost my special attack set next turn, unless they max strike me, in which case I can't. <laughs> my meaningless taunt. As they max Phantasm, I mean, I can tank that. And I can certainly just go for another attack into that Entei, and also parting shot the Porygon too. They don't have any comfortable switch-ins for 
really anything I can go for here. I think my play is actually going to be to Parting Shot here. And Entei drops to a Max Quake. Or a Max Phantasm regardless. So I'll just go for Max Phantasm in case they want to switch in Rillaboom to take the hit. And this will also decrease the damage output from the Porygon. So, yep, they withdraw. Let me see what I'm catching here. The Zapdos, awesome. Max Phantasm does a decent chunk. I almost want to say that's a crit. As it is not. Interesting. Okay. Let me get my guy out of here. Go for the parting shot. Alright. So I do not fear anything from that Porygon right now. I think what I can do, in fact, is just get in my Venusaur. And go for another Max Phantasm into the Zapdos as I try to put this Porygon to sleep. There's their Max Phantasm once again into my Spectrier. I'm able to eat that up though. Eat it up like Reese's Puffs. And I am Wide Lens, so I'm more likely than not to land this hit, but I also just hate that I have to even try, you know? Anyone else hate that feeling in a game where you know everything's about to go wrong? Yeah, I hate it too. Let <laughs> me go for the Max Phantasm onto the uh, Zapdos. And that should KO anything that wants to come in. And get me another plus one on my on my Spectre. Or I guess a neutral, since I already had to take a Snarl. And they really don't have any safe switches here, especially if I put this Porygon to sleep. They decide to detect. Very good play. Can I land it? I really hope I can land this. I mean, Spectre can steamroll if I land this. Come on, it's like an 80-something percent chance. You got it. Hey, okay. So now, uh, I would say my play here is to get back in my Morpico. And just to go for another Shadow Ball. Because this, this Porygon's at minus two defense. And Morpico's my only good physical attacker here. I'll go ahead and I'll Shadow Ball into the Zapdos. I outspeed it, so I pretty much take anything I want. I'm assuming their last Pokemon's probably Metagross, so they do not want to switch in on this. And I think what I'll do on the next turn is actually... I won't even go for Taunt into the Porygon in case it wakes up and goes for an attack. I'd rather just go for the Fake Out because it just gets me some damage uh, and it helps me out quite a bit. So as long as I don't get a first turn wake up, I'm good. I need you right now, man. We get the Grimnay boost. Awesome. Stay asleep, Porygon. Yeah, okay. Good night. Alright. How do I play this out? I think my play is always to go for the fake out onto the Porygon too, and the mud shot onto Entei or Urshifu. That's scary. You know what I'm gonna? Ooh, that is Rapid Strike Urshifu. I do not like you. That means I can Shadow Ball it though. I'll go for the fake out on the Urshifu. I don't care about Trick Room as long as I keep my Torkoal in the back. I pretty much beat him. Shadow Ball. I think they'd want an Aqua Jet here to be honest. Just because it's like one of their most secure ways to knock out my my Spectrier. As they withdraw, um, they pretty much just... I think they just gave me the game by doing that. I mean, it depends. They could Trick Room here, and I think I just win by virtue of Torkoal and Venusaur being together on the team, you know? Grimne. Take some life orb damage. Porygon 2 woke up, and it's going to go for the Shadow Ball. Yeah, I don't really mind that at all, to be honest. Because they can't reset their defense drops. 
and I just have to keep I just have to keep more Pico alive pretty much. Let me go into Venusaur here. There isn't anything that Urshifu can do. I don't believe it learns Ice Punch unless it's running like acrobatics, like a madman. <laughs> so I should be fine. I'll go ahead and I'll put this uh, Porygon to sleep, I think. And get in my Torkoal. Just sleep powder up. Because the Torque will be able to decrease the damage I take from the water move, which I believe is their strongest option versus me. I think it does slightly more than close combat would. Especially if they're like, you know, trying to break Sash or something. I don't know. Hopefully I land this. Yep. Good night. Hashtag Vinicol no skill. And there's the close combat into the Torkoal, who should be able to eat that up. Nice. Uh, let me go ahead and just click Heat Wave and Leaf Storm. That's Burning Jealousy. I'm assuming they're Focus Sash. That's like the only item Urshifu wants to run. Or maybe by the way they didn't click pro or Detect or Protect or anything on that previous turn, they may actually be Choice Banded, in which case I probably already won. And we... Pretty much can't miss the Leaf Storm. They do have Detect. So they are likely Focus Sash. Porygon 2 does wake up, and it goes for the Ice Beam. That is at minus one, though, so I yeah, I take that. And they can't freeze me. I land my Heat Wave. This is more about getting rid of Urshifu than anything right now. Ah, they freaking avoid it. Um, I'm not going to miss that Urshifu. I will click Burning Jealousy here, and I will go for another Leaf Storm. I'm not going to bother putting Pouring on to sleep now. Alright. They're Focus Sash. Let's see if Torkoal can live this somehow. Oh, he's close combated. Okay, interesting. I wonder if he doubled into me. I think he just loses then. Shadow Ball? Yeah, he doubled. Okay. I mean, I can't lose anymore, because I just click Fake Out into the Porygon and Mud Bomb. Or not Mud Bomb, Sludge Bomb. So I Fake Out Porygon, Sludge Bomb, the Urshifu. And I still have a couple of turns of Sun, I believe. Yeah, two turns of Suns. They would need a double Protect. Fake Out Porygon, Sludge Bomb, into the Urshifu. And they are at minus two defense and minus one special attack, so I should be able to just click Aura Wheel to win. They go for the detect, doesn't really matter. They're likely not going to bother going for Trick Room. So I'll just go for my Aura Wheel, and when you see how much a Fake Out did, I feel like it's pretty safe to assume I'll be able to knock it out this turn. Or not this turn, but I'm not going to get Recover stalled or anything. So we will Aura Wheel into Porygon. We are still faster than Urshifu. I can go for a Sludge Bomb into you to pick up the KO. And this is my last turn of Sun, so this is actually a pretty important turn. But I think even if they do get a double Protect, as long as I keep both of my Pokemon, I should be fine since I can just... I have plus one speed. I'm no longer speed tying with the Urshifu. I can just go for an Aura Wheel into it. They go for the Aqua Jet. Uh, that's not going to do much in the Sun. We're having fun in the sun. Unless your name's Urshifu, you don't get to have fun. And here's the Aura Wheel. How much are we doing? That is a solid chunk. They cannot stall me out. They will go down next turn. And they go for the Ice Beam. Doesn't KO. Cannot freeze. Awesome. And more Pico's happy again, because he won. <laughs> I love this thing. This thing is such a cool Pokemon. I'm upset people aren't using him as much, you know? You saw some more Pico in, like, early Series 1, but you just don't see it anymore. It's a good Pokemon. I'm going to pause it for a second. I have to go run out and do something. Okay, I'm back. So, let's continue battling. Let's see if I made it into Master Ball tier. Awesome. Rank 2,299. And that's with more Pico, man. More Pico, honestly, 
kind of underrated. Kind of underrated. We went six and one. Nice. I guess two of those battles weren't with more Pico though. Were they? Yeah, I've done four battles with, no, five. I don't know how many I did. Anyways, <laughs> I know we used Buzzwall at one point or that might've been at the end of the season. Yeah, that was at the end of last season. So more Pico, that was a more Pico climb. Ooh, this looks like a match where it can shine. Let me go ahead and lead off more Pico Spectre here. The usual deal. And in the back, it looks like Venucol looks like a really solid option, but I also really like Stack Attacka. Hmm. Actually, let's go Landorus in the back. And I think Stack Attacka isn't a bad idea. That looks like a pretty solid option here. And the reason I'm doing this is just because they really don't have much to deal with Fake Out plus Spectre, you know? Like, I have to be careful with, uh, with Thunderous, because it can likely live a hit, but I could also just go for the Fake Out plus Will-O-Wisp, just to ensure I take it. And that'll allow me to go out into my um, Stack Attacka and just win, pretty much, if I'm able to burn their Dynamax. Yeah, more Pico just has so much utility on this team. Someone commented it plays a lot like Incineroar, and I have to say yes. It's, it's basically like an Incineroar, but faster, frailer, and also has access to either an electric move or a dark move, depending on the turn, which is pretty big. Just being able to click like Aura Wheel into a uh, Tapu Fini is really solid. The only thing is you have to be really careful because Tapu Fini can just beat you by protecting every other turn. That's the only real downside to it. So I made sure the team didn't really lose outright to Tapu Fini. I did like pack a Venusaur on there. Just make sure I wasn't going to lose to it every time. All right, let's see how good our lead was. Because they end up going with the Tornadus or Thunderous and the Hiligo lead. I'm going to say my best play here is to... I could fake out the Nihiligo, but I don't want to call the Dynamax wrong. I think I'd rather just parting shot Nihiligo. And go for this Will-O-Wisp and just hope I don't miss it like the other three times I've clicked it. I've literally not landed a Will-O-Wisp this entire time I've used this team. Hopefully we can turn that around today. 85% accuracy is is better than Sleep Powder, and I've landed those. That's also likely going to be an Airstream. As they protect the Nihiligo, that's fine. I connect my Will-O-Wisp. Don't be Lumberry, please. Yeah, okay, I didn't want to win anyways. <laughs> I didn't feel like winning anyways. Winning's for losers, you know? Oh, we lived. Nice, okay. I mean, that, that's not too bad, you know? Um, I don't want to let them max Knuckle, because that would be an issue. But I also don't have a way of stopping them from max Knuckling, you know? And I also only have Landorus in the back, so I suppose more Pico is going to stay in this turn. <laughs> yeah, um, let me go for an Aura Wheel into the Nihiligo for some decent damage. And I am just going to try to Will-O-Wisp you one more time. But I'm likely going to lose my Spectre this turn. There's the Airstream. I'm assuming a Sludge Bomb is coming my way. Or a Meteor Beam, that would also be very scary. And I can't afford to go for Trick Room. Because, there's the Meteor Beam. I wonder how much this does. I don't outspeed it next turn, I know that much. The reason I can't go for the Trick Room is because I would have to... I mean, they might even just set up the Trick Room for me, to be honest. <laughs> I would have to take a Max Knuckle. And Max Knuckle's not a fun hit to take. I also just get a free weakness policy out of this turn if I play it right. Ooh, that did so much. All right. Uh, now, unfortunately, I, like I said, I don't actually survive this turn. So what I'll do is I'll get in my stack, and I will Dynamax and go for Max Rockfall. What's the worst that could happen? 
a max knuckle. That's pretty much it. And I should just KO with max rockfall. I'll go ahead and I'll attempt to aura wield in Hiligo in case they double into my stack attack. I get a free KO there. And I will get plus two out of this, which is nice. Not going to go for the trick room because I don't want to risk getting like crit by max knuckle. I mean, they're not life orbs, so I probably would have lived anyways, but I still don't want to, like, risk some weird tech, you know? And who knows? They might set up the trick room for me, assuming I would live. All I know is they should probably knuckle. Or protect and go for superpower. I don't know. They just, they just shouldn't allow me to get off trick room, so I think they're just going to attack, you know? And Landris looks really good once this uh, Thunderous is off the field. Baymax Knuckle, awesome, that's plus two for me, and with Dynamax, I take that really well. Let's see if they try to set up Trick Room for me. Well, they didn't try to set up Trick Room. Let's see if they tried to reverse Trick Room. Nope, they Power Gem. I'm not really scared of this Nihiligo, even at plus two. Like, I have AV Lando, and I have <laughs> I have Stack Attacka. Hey, how much you want to bet this uh, this Thunderous is going to drop right now? I'd bet the house on it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Weakness Policy Stack, that's the wave. Shookaberry? Nah. Weakness Policy? Yeah. That's how you do it. And I get a defense boost out of it. Like, what? what's the issue there? I also have a special defense boost, technically. Because of the sand. Alright, let me get in the Landris. Now, uh, they are packing Power Gem. And not just Meteor Beam, which I have seen sometimes. Uh, so... I think I can live plus two power gem with my Lando. And I'll just go for um, Rock Slide here. Because I should outspeed the Tapu Finny. And I can just go for Max Steel Spike into the Finny. I'm just not going to enjoy taking this hit. Hopefully they're not Choice Specs. Because Choice Specs Finny is not something I want to take right now. Rock Slide should KO in a hill ago. Possibly flinching the Finny. Go for my Steel Spike. It's going to be uh, quite the comeback if I can do this. I mean, they really don't have anything to hit my stack attack with on their Nihiligo, so they should just Power Gem into Lando. They withdraw the Nihiligo, interestingly enough. What's going to take this? Rotom Heat. Yeah, you're not going to enjoy this, bud. You're not going to enjoy this. Go for my Rock Slide. And I am Assault Vest, so I'm pretty much guaranteed to live. They go for a comp. Oh, no, man. Oh, I am sorry for what's about to happen to this Finny. I don't know if you know, but Finny does not take plus two Steel Spike. At least I hope it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, it does not. I think I won. Yeah, I, th I think I won. Because uh, I just clicked Rock Slide. Twice. <laughs> and they also gave up their... Yeah, no, they gave up their um, special attack boost. Which means there's no way they one-shot my Landorus. And with the Sand Up, I think I take any hit from Rotom, even though my Dynamax is ending. Yeah, so my play here is just Rock Slide. Oh no, my Dynamax. I have one more turn of Dynamax. Dang, I played that like I had like a million turns of Dynamax. Let me go for the Max Rockfall on the Rotom and the Rock Slide. And they canceled the battle. Nice. Okay. So 2 0 today as we hit the 25 minute mark. I think I can. I think I can afford to do one more battle. I think I can afford. What time is it? It depends. And eh, never mind. I can't do one more battle because it's already almost going to be like. 5 p.m. and I need to get this video up before then. So, 
Thank you all for watching, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Yesterday's video did amazing. So if we could hit 200 likes on this video, and if you could answer the comment question today down below, I'd really appreciate that. This team has been going crazy on the ladder. I'll be streaming with it tomorrow night if I, you know, get home in time. So yeah, link to everything in the description down below, my social media, my Discord, my Twitch, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice one. Bye.